This is a tutorial on how to make chocolate chip banana bread. First, you'll want to gather all the ingredients you'll need, including four tablespoons of butter, a fourth cup of oil, one cup of sugar, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, three ripe bananas, one fourth cup sour cream, one and three fourths cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt, and then the best part, three fourths cups of mini chocolate chips. Once you have all of your ingredients, you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then get a large mixing bowl and whip together the butter, oil, and sugar for about three minutes. I used a hand mixer to save myself some effort, but you could also use a stand mixer as well. Now we will want to mash our bananas. No, seriously. I do this in a separate bowl with a fork or a potato masher. Now we'll want to add the bananas to our first bowl along with the vanilla, eggs, and sour cream. Make sure you stir until everything has been incorporated and you have a pretty even mix throughout. Now we're going to want to pour that banana mix into our original bowl with the oil and the sugars. Make sure you stir until it's nice and combined. Next, stir in the flour, baking soda, and salt. You might want to add just a little bit of flour at a time as it gets harder to stir the more you put in. Now is the best part, the chocolate chips. Add in the mini chocolate chips. If the chocolate chips are too big, they will sink in the batter and you won't have chocolate throughout the entire bread. Stir in those chocolate chips until you feel it's mixed up enough. Make sure you grease your bread pan so the bread will slide out when it's done. You can use a stick of butter or a nonstick spray like I am using. Pour the batter into the bread pans, making sure to split the batter evenly. Don't fill over three quarters of the way full or else the batter will rise over the edge of the pan and create a huge mess for you to clean up later. And no bread. Before putting them in the oven, sprinkle the remaining chocolate chips over the top of the batter to ensure some chips stay at the top. Let the loaves bake for 25 minutes before removing and covering with foil. Put them back in the oven while covered and bake the remaining 20 to 30 minutes. The thicker the batter is in the pan, the more time it will take to bake. When you suspect the bread is done, pull them out of the oven and uncover and poke them with a toothpick. The toothpick comes out with no crumbs or batter attached. You are done! Place the loaves on a cooling rack until cool enough to slice up and serve. Enjoy!